Hey everyone. Today I want to talk about uh, CIA, Character, Integrity, and Accountability. And you know, you say, well, of course I am, I'm a cop, I made it, oh man, you, please, all my people in policing know that you work with some people who you're like, they're shady. They're shady AF, right? And so my thing is, I want to just talk, spend a couple minutes talking about the, what I st think, what I feel are the cornerstones of policing. And that's character, your integrity, and your accountability. And if we don't have character, integrity, and accountability, we're not going to fulfill our role of guardian, of protector of our communities, right? And so that's one of the things. What's your character like, right? You know, what type of person are you? What's your value system like? And people want to say, oh, I've got a strong value system, but do you really? And does that other officer really have a strong value system? Now, they may talk a good game, but what are they really like? right? How do they see people? How do they treat people? What is their character? How do they view people? What do they say behind people's backs about groups of people, right? Like skateboarders or, you know, goth or whatever, or, you know, the people who live in the low income housing, or even the, the really wealthy people. How do they, how do they talk about them? What do they say about them? Right? How do they talk about the other officers who they may not get along with, whatever it is. But what's, what's a character like? What's your character? And that's one of the things that, that I was like, what's my character? And am I proud of that, right? The way I present myself to the community, the way I present myself to my fellow officers, the way I present myself when I'm training, right? To students in my classes. How do I present myself? How do I refer to people? How do I talk about people, right? Your character, what does that look like? Um, your integrity, right? How are you when nobody's looking? What do you do when nobody's looking? It's like my wife, she always, she can't believe it because I will definitely go past like a turn. If I mess up and go, ah, oh, that's the turn I want. I don't cut people off. I'll just keep going, all right? Until I can get safely over and then make the turn. And you know, I, you know, I won't, I don't want to park in a loading zone because I'm not loading right now or we're waiting for somebody, but I'm not loading. I'm not getting out of my car and going in place, but at the same time, I still don't even want to do it. I, the other day, I, we were unloading at my uh, son's apartment. And I was like, ah, I don't want to park here because it says no parking. My wife's like, we're, we're unloading stuff. It's lo we can do that. And I have a hard time with that kind of stuff. I, I believe in the rules. I believe in rules are there for a reason. And if we follow the rules, then things go smooth, smoother than if we don't. All right. Um, so... I'm not trying to say I'm like the epitome of integrity, but I try to have integrity in what I do, right? And if, if I'm going to hold myself accountable to something, or if I'm going to hold other people accountable, I'm going to hold myself accountable to it. Which brings me to my third thing, is the accountability factor, right? And I used to see officers, you know, they would uh, blow through stop signs. Or they would, you know, do this. And then not going to a call. I'm talking about just driving because they just didn't feel like they needed to stop. Or they do whatever. They wouldn't signal. That's a little thing. But, hey, are you going to pull somebody over for not signaling? Right? So then what do you need to do? You need to be signaling. You need to be doing that stuff. And that's that accountability and integrity piece. Right? What's your accountability? If you're going to hold other people accountable to something, you need to be accountable to it. And here's what I see in policing right now is I see that there is a visible, I'm not saying a thorough and I'm not saying a pervasive, I'm saying a visible lack of accountability. And so a, pl a police officer does something that a citizen would be held accountable for and the police officer is excused or what have you. One of that is the whole thing of when police officers are in a use of force situation, whether they're shooting or whatever, they say, I was in fear for my life. But then a citizen is not able to make that claim a citizen is arrested for something or whatever and they can't say i was in fear for my life but a police officer who's well trained well equipped and should have the confidence and the competence to deal with a situation like that it can say oh i was in fear for my life you know uh you know a few years ago in north charleston uh, south carolina the officer shot the guy running away and said he was he was worried that the guy was going to turn around and come back at him and he was actually hung jury in the first trial, had to go to a second trial to be found guilty of any sort of crime. It's that accountability piece, people. Are you holding yourself accountable 
to the same standards you hold other people accountable. And it's not that hard, it's not that big a deal. If we just make sure our character is in, intact and our coworkers, our colleagues' characters are intact, if our integrity is intact and we're making sure we have strong integrity and our accountability, right? And then all we're doing is we're doing the, everything that we would require of somebody else, we are also doing, okay? So that's one of the things that, that you know, I really want to stress. And uh, cool helicopter, I love helicopters. Uh, but that's one of the things I want to stress is that just those three little things, your character, your integrity, and your accountability. They may seem, they're huge. They mean a lot. But they may seem like, ah, oh, simple, I got that covered, you know? But are you doing a check of those every so often? What's my character like? How am I treating people? Integrity. What am I doing when nobody's around? Am I following the rules that I want everybody else to follow? Am I modeling that behavior? What's your accountability? Are you holding yourself accountable to the same level you hold other people accountable? All right. Hey, the reason I say these things is because I love policing. I love law enforcement. I want police officers to be seen as the true guardians that they are. I want, like I always say, I want police officers to be seen like firefighters. You know, I want there to be a day where police officers can stand in the street holding a boot to, to get donations for charities and nobody has a problem with that, right? Police officers do that, everybody's giving them thousands of dollars because nobody sees firefighters having uh, some sort of agenda or uh, doing anything negative. And police officers, the most noble profession there is. And I want people to see it that way, right? That's why I say these things. If you have a, if this resonates with you, please share it. Please share it. We got a movement going on to build up the perception of policing and let's make it happen. Okay. If you have a problem with this, hey, hit me up directly. DM me. Let's, t let's deal with that in private. Don't put it out there. You know, like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I have people do that. And I question them. Hey, tell me what, what it is that I don't know what I'm talking about. And they never respond. No credibility. No credibility there. Okay. If you're going to have that, uh, get with me. Let's figure this out. Clarification. I'm happy to clarify. If I can answer any questions for you, please uh, comment, DM me, uh, hit me up, mneil at onyxtg.com. Let's get this thing going. Uh, let's make this a movement, right? Let's get policing back to where it needs to be. That people are absolutely positive and confident in law enforcement. Hey, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you again soon.